seven Dragoon warriors in the legend of the Dragon Campaign. Dragoons, reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the Dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the gods' fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the Dragoon's cause. Then at last they freed the gods. Without the gods' power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the Human Age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. Wow, I just love Legend of Dragoon story time. And if you love Legend of Dragoon story time, good news because uh, guess who in a couple of minutes is going to have another one of those. Um, Yep, it's Librarian Ute. Librarian Cool Voice Ute. That should be his nickname. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna go upstairs to the reference room now. It has some pretty, uh, has some pretty cool stuff. They've just, because they're dumping, like, everything about the plot just right here in, in this disc. It's just all, it's all coming out at once. Um, like, for the last two discs, we've heard some some hints about the story of the Black Monster, and we've sort of we know the basic stories of why some guy took over some country or whatever. But uh, we haven't heard the greatest story of of the world, um, and that's what we're going to find out now. We've got the remains of Neat, which is uh, which is the name of the village Dart was born in got, that got destroyed by the black monster. Um, so we've got, if you look at the little uh, thing, the St. Luvia. Relics from Neat, the tragic village. Bit of, bit of a hint here, if you remember last disc, there was a ghost ship that I believe looked a bit similar. Hmm. So... Yeah, there's the stained glass of the church and like a wheel and a couple of other remnants. And uh, most importantly, Librarian Newt knows that there is another survivor uh, who is the second sacred sister of uh, of the land that I've been avoiding pronouncing because I, there's too many vowels. Like. E A E U like Sesso Sesso I don't I don't speak like French I don't know what's going on there Mill Sesame Street so he can tell us about the black monster which is nice and uh, and when he says would you like to hear it that means what you think it means it's story time. did the gods create him? The black monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. The god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to Earth. The herald is known to us as the Moonchild. The legend says the Moonchild revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. 
the black monster abhors, hates, and despises it, and kills the moon child. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is a never-ending chaos. to voiceover story time, but we do have a bit more character development. It looks like there's someone else with a connection to the destroyed village of Neat. So this is what Rose decided to, uh, to disappear for, why she decided to uh, leave the party for a bit. It was to uh, visit Neat, maybe to visit the uh, Gravestones over here, like these people. So, this is the person that we were just hearing about, Second Sacred Sister Luana, uh, the other survivor of, uh, of Neat, which is nice because uh, Rose has already found her, she can bring her back to us. Distracted by Rose's armor clipping through her hair. probably don't want to look into Rose's soul though because it's probably filled with blood, darkness, um, 
I don't know, she is the darkness element dragoon and has darkness element sock. Uh, not socks, only one sock apparently. She's just. She's the darkness hipster. So, uh. You know, Rose should be heading back to Deningrad with us, and I think in the next episode we will. Do the rest of our stuff. It's been a pretty cutscene heavy episode, so I think uh I think this is a a nice place to end it just before we get to the home of Meru. See you next time.